in April, the congregation of Nair Tamid raised over $75,000 for humanitarian efforts to send to Poland, where Ukrainian refugees have been fleeing to since the start of the war. Rabbi Sanford Axelrod is a local Valley rabbi who, along with 22 other rabbis from around the country, traveled to Poland to witness the devastation at the Polish-Ukrainian border. His congregation has continued keeping close tabs since his trip, and this weekend a special guest speaker is igniting this conversation once again on how the Valley can help these efforts from 5,000 miles away. He's a New Yorker at heart, but while living in Israel, Jonathan Ornstein followed love to Poland and found himself in love with the city of Kraków instead. For the last 20 years, he's worked as an educator and now is the chief executive officer with the Jewish Community Center of Kraków. We understood that there would be a, a large amount of refugees coming once the war started, which surprised all of us on February 24th. And our first idea is just to do all we can to help. JCC has been a leader in serving over 190,000 Ukrainian refugees at their spot in Kraków. We are mindful of the Jewish history in our part of the world, that Jews were killed there in great numbers during the Holocaust. Over 90% of Polish Jews were murdered in the Holocaust, over 90% of Krakowian Jews. And we understand what it's like, what it's like in that part of the world to suffer and to be the other and to be victims. And we wanted to do what we could to help, uh, help others from, from, from suffering. We decided to bring Jonathan Ornstein, who is the CEO of the JCC of Krakow, out so we could, again, revive interest in this project, but also give people um, a, a really a, an idea of what's been going on over the last year in Poland and Ukraine. Rabbi Sanford Axelrod with the congregation of Nair Tamid met Ornstein when he was bringing supplies to Poland from Las Vegas. Kind of began organically, about 22 of us from across the United States, one from Israel, Russia, Ukraine, and we got together uh, in April, mid-April of last year and we kind of decided what we wanted to do, which was to bring uh, medical supplies, uh, raise money, uh, and see with our own eyes what was going on. This community, the congregation near to meet, has been incredibly generous. Rabbi Axelrod uh, coming to visit us in, in April and bringing support from this community. Um, and they've really cared and have stayed in touch with us and kept connected to our Krakow Jewish community and all that we're trying to do to help Ukraine. Now in America, Ornstein will be here all weekend, raising awareness and piquing interest in the brutal realities happening overseas. On a human level, they're suffering. You know, these, these are people that were living their lives in, in their country, a country that they love and living in peace and, and were attacked and are being brutalized. And I think we understand that what it means to be an American, what the United States stands for is for freedom and for democracy and for helping others when they're being victimized. Well, Ornstein will be here all weekend. And if you want to help with donations to this cause, you can head over to our website, ktnb.com, for more information on how to get involved. The Nevada School Church.